What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Impeccable Crafts. So I got a really cool video in store for you today. I'm going to be making a 3D laser cut map. Um, I got my four pieces here. I'm not going to explain the process. What I'll do is link the video of the person who explained everything very well, very straightforward, very clear. So I got four pieces. One is the land right there. The top portion is the highways and the roads. That solid black portion right there is my back portion that I'm going to glue everything on. And then the frame off to the right, I'm going to double up as essentially a border, a frame. Um, I'm thinking about staining that. And I think I'm going to actually paint all these just to have them stand out a little bit as well. Now I've seen a lot of pictures and videos um, on TikTok and YouTube of these things already made and I thought they were really cool. I just couldn't wrap my head around how they actually extracted the different portions and the different layers of the maps. So again, I'm going to post a video in the description. Very informative. So there was the roads and the maps. Here's the land base. Pretty cool. That one went pretty fast. Uh, this right here is my back portion. Went pretty fast also. And this is the frame, AKA the border. Now I cut two of those. Now I was able to cut everything in about a half hour. Everything went quick. The part that took the longest was the roads and the highways. So that's everything all put together there. And I did glue the frame off camera. Uh, you know, it's pretty straightforward. I glued the frame portion to the solid black in the back there. That's the land and the little lakes. You can see there it's nice and thick. And as I mentioned, I am going to stain this with a nice wood stain all the way around. I think it'll look really cool. So for the roads, I have a nice kind of a gold sparkle spray paint. I'm just going to go ahead and spray that with. Uh, and then the land, I was kind of debating on if I wanted to leave it, you know, the regular wood finish. But I think I'm going to go all out and just paint it green for the heck of it. And then the oceans and the big Salton Sea down there on the bottom right. I'm going to fill up with a nice blue resin with a little bit of that, that pearl in there. Should come out pretty cool. These little islands, that's uh, Catalina Island and I believe San Clemente Island. So yeah, let's go ahead and paint everything and we'll be back. All right, so that was definitely the longest part of the process so far. Staining the wood, painting the other little bits and pieces, waiting for them to dry. And I have zero patience when it comes to things like this. But we're good. I set everything out in the sun, dried a little bit faster in this California sun. So I think the frame came out pretty good. And I was actually debating on if I wanted to paint the backing there, but I think we'll be okay since I'm going to add some color to the resin. So I think we'll be fine. And you can see the land came out pretty clean. I'm not too sure how those little lakes are going to be when I try to fill them up with resin. I know the big one on the bottom right is going to be fine. And again, I did spray this one with kind of a gold flake that I had. Uh, I forget the exact spray that I used. I'll go ahead and link it in the bottom once I'm done with this. So there you have it. Looks pretty cool even without the blue resin and the water portions. I am, I'm definitely proud of my, my work here. I like it. Looks cool. So I'm going to be filling those in with the blue resin and the little lakes there. We'll, we'll see if I can get the teeny tiny ones. I don't know. We'll see how everything comes together. Uh, I, feel, I feel pretty good about it. We will definitely see what happens. And I don't think I'm going to dome this one with any resin in between. If, if I was, I would have put another layer on the outer side just to contain the resin. And if you uh, see my last video about the dragon piece I did, you'll know why. So let's go ahead and get to it and start gluing these bad boys together. So I disassembled everything. I'm gonna lay it out and we're gonna glue these bad boys together. So I don't know if I'm just a real big fan of the Gorilla brand, uh, but I happen to have this 
Gorilla Super Glue laying around. And I really like it for gluing these pieces of wood together, mainly because it's a gel. It doesn't run. Uh, you have a couple of seconds working time so you can line everything up, you know, as it needs to be. And it has a nice little needle in the bottle tip there. So you can just poke your holes as they clog up. Cool stuff. Love it. Works great. So they say you don't really need a lot. Um, I tend to overdo everything because I'd rather have more than not enough, I guess. I'm not too sure if that's a good way of doing things, but it's been working for me. So now let's try to line this guy up as good as we can. Like I said, you do have a couple seconds before this stuff completely bonds, but you do have a little bit of wiggle room there. See? Nice. Directions say to hold it down for about 10 seconds. So whatever glue you got, you know, test it out, whichever works. Now we're going to glue up my little islands. They're going to go there. So let's add some glue. Definitely don't need a lot for these little guys. More glue, more fast forwarding. And I actually got my finger stuck right there a little bit, but I pulled it off. Literally. Brucha. So looks like we are almost done gluing the land portion. Looks really, really cool. I really liked the frame on this there. I love it. I feel like I should have made the land maybe a darker green, but it's all right. We're having fun. No worries. Now let's get to gluing these roads and highways. They fit in right there. Definitely looks cool. So I'm going to use the same glue going to try not to use a whole bunch because I don't want, want it to seep through. I don't want it to bleed through. I don't want it to drip, even though it's a gel. And if I put a lot, it is going to get everywhere because there is a lot of surface area on here and it's on top of the green part. So, uh, I definitely use too much around the top left. That whole little bundled up area, which is the the cluster of LA freeways. You'll see what I'm talking about. But I need to hold this down because it my wood is a little uneven. So I'm gonna use some of my coasters that I purchased. Be making some videos on those in the future with my laser. So we'll come back in about a minute. Just gonna let this do its thing. And we are back to take off my slate coasters here. Hopefully none got some super glue on it and I got lucky. Yay. So it looks really good. So I did put it a lot over here in this corner. Like I mentioned, a little bit did seep through. Luckily it's clear. So I don't think it'll be a really big issue. My islands look good. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and pour up some resin. Okay, so I probably just need a couple ounces to fill up the ocean and that big salt and sea there. I'm not too sure how those little holes, you know, the little tiny lakes are going to work out. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what happens. I am going to use the same two Mika powders I used in my last video for my dragon. I really like the way the blue came out, and that's actually what inspired me to do something with water. So let's see if we can get the same effect going with that blue and the pearl. I got my handy dandy digital crusty rusty scale here. I'm just going to mix up a couple ounces. I'm not going to need a lot for this. Pour in, pour in, pour in. Weigh in, weigh in, weigh in. So just remember, we're going to mix this stuff up pretty good. And again, I'm not worried about air bubbles because when you add the coloring, you don't really see it a lot. Some might float up to the top, but it doesn't really bother me. And I'm just going to pour a little bit to the side 
that's what I'm going to use for the pearl. So I do tend to like a lot of this Mika powder in there. I know I could really only add a little bit, but I like adding a lot. See, I, I felt like that's already enough, but I like to double dip. I don't know what it is. It looks really cool when it's there's a lot of it in there too. You get a lot of swirls. You'll see what I'm talking about here. See, right about there. So cool looking. Definitely ocean color. And I only added a little bit of the white. Probably way more than I needed for the amount of resin that's actually in there, but whatever. So we'll mix it up a little bit more. Now on to the fun part. I'm gonna pour everything in the ocean first. Let's make this ocean blue. Bombs away, wish me luck. Oh yeah, I'm liking that contrast of color with the green and the blue already. Try not to get none on my little islands. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Okay. Let's fill up my little salt and sea over here. So yeah, I think I used just a little bit too much of resin. But like I said, I'd rather have more than not had enough. And I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of the white pearl into the ocean there. White pearl, give it a swirl. I'm trying not to dump everything in there, but there we go. Yeah. Ooh, that looks really cool. A little bit in the salt and sea over there. And we're essentially done. Looking real good, looking real nice. Now all we gotta do is wait. The stuff cures pretty fast, about 24 hours. So, I will see you tomorrow. But, no thumbs up. I actually forgot to fill in my little lakes right there in the middle. So, swoop. Let's see if we can fill these little guys in. I poured the excess resin in a mold that I had laying around as usual. So, let's see what happens here. And just as I suspected, it's definitely too small for any resin to go in there. Now I'm going to try to fill it up and we'll just let it do its thing. If it wants to sleep under the wood, it will. I don't want to ruin the top piece. So I'd rather actually leave it resinless than it just sit on the top there. I'm not even going to try those little, little lakes down in San Diego there. Uh-uh. Nope. Not going to do it. That's about as good as that is definitely going to get. So again, I will see you tomorrow while we let this guy cure. Thanks again. All right. So here it is. As you can see, my little lakes in the middle came out horrible. Actually, they didn't come out at all. It just seeped under the green piece of wood I had there. But... All in all, for a couple of hours on a Sunday afternoon, I think it definitely came out decent. I really like the way the ocean contrasts with the green. And then my frame with that nice wood tint. I like it. I could dig it. So, again, thank you for watching. I hope you can take something from this video. Use it towards your own projects. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.